I ask you all to stay with me on this one because it may sound like I'm on a pedestal against guns, but I'm not. The beginning is just setting the scene for what comes next. The title is the saddest of all goodbyes. These drive-by shootings, these shootings into homes, the horrors, the most cowardly act of all, shooting into a crowd because the person who allegedly dissed you, he laughed at you, a 15-year-old nobody and nothing, acting like he owned the world, like he was some really big hot pile of dog chit. Yes, you can tell I worked for years as a therapist with these cowards. 15-year-old big man, until he's in juvie and has no semi-auto with him. And then he's crying for mommy like a seven-year-old boy that he was when mommy abandoned him. Then her body was found about nine months later. Cowardly shootings are the symptom of a severely damaged people. They show a hatred of self and others, an anger of society and self that is concomitant of the mental illnesses. These are the results of the increased cuts to healthcare, social programs meant to catch these sick, diseased, infectious men and the weak ones who will then infect, kill or rape. And this is what stoking race hate for four years will do. Will cutting, cutting, cutting and giving the proceeds of those cuts to yourself and your wealthy tax dodger friends. As you are an acolyte to Satan and an aide to the NRA, you all but sold whips on, the cin on all of these corners, giving access to military-grade weapons on the city's streets, then refusing the same to police and laughing with the gun manufacturers in the White House. Shame on you. When you buy a helmed gun, you must admit and get rid of your squeamishness. You are buying a weapon with the sole intention to kill another human being. As handguns are made for that sole purpose. Now on Wednesday, in August of 2019, there was a brutal, sickening mass murder of an entire three-generation family. Blake Bivens' wife, Emily, his 14-month-old son, Colin, his mother-in-law, Joan, which was Emily's mum, were murdered by his brother-in-law in cold blood while he was in the nude, all at the family home, all as Blake, a minor league pitcher for the Tampa Bay Rays, was to be called up to the big lead as the September expansions were occurring. It took Blake two days to be able to find any words to say anything about his family. Then he finally posted one of the most beautiful and heart-wrenching memorials to love and God's grace that I have ever seen. Please hear this and include this family in your prayers. The following are Blake's words. Two days ago, my heart was turned to ash. My life as I knew it, destroyed. The pain my family and I feel is unbearable and cannot be put into words. I shake and tremble at the thought of our future without them. Emily, my sweetheart, 
you are the best wife and mother this world has ever seen. You made me into the man I am today, and you loved me with all of my flaws. You brought our precious baby boy into this world and made our family complete. Your love and kindness changed countless lives, including mine. My sweet little boy, Dada loves you so much. I can't breathe without you here. I finally understood what love was when you were born, and I would have done anything for you. You have changed my life forever. You are my reason why. I long to hold the both of you again in heaven. I am so glad you are with your great-grandmothers now. I know they are just eating you up. This earth did not deserve either of you. You were just too wonderful to comprehend. Joan, you were the best mother-in-law anyone could ask for. You loved your family more than anyone I've ever seen. You raised the most wonderful girl in the world. I'm so glad y'all are still together. You were the best Nana this world has ever seen, and I will never forget you. Skip, you are a wonderful father and grandfather. We will get through this together as a family. We will not let the devil win. Thank you, God, for giving me the most wonderful family in the world. I've been blessed beyond belief. Thank you to all my family and friends who have reached out to me during this time of sorrow. Thank you, Ray's Baseball Biscuit Baseball, for your support through everything. I am comforted by all the messages and well wishes. I am not sure what is next for me, but I do know God has a plan, even though I can't see it. Please pray for this man and his family.